Hello there everybody and welcome to another episode of Pokemon Advanced Adventures. This is episode 2. Now, if you notice my voice sounds a little bit different, that is because I am on a brand spanking new headset. Uh, mine packed up between episodes, so um, I took a few days off and yeah, I am in, uh, I am in some... I'm in some straight straights at the moment, guys. That, uh, uh, yeah, basically, um, here's 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 the short, here's the short, long and short of it. Um, the computer we use to record our um, uh, video game plays, the ones using our PlayStation, is currently up the chute. Um, we have we are we are we are in in a position, and we are working towards getting it getting it sorted but that's going to be an extended period extensive period of time uh, which is going to mean that and any series including Sanctuary 2 um, uh, the the UFC series um, anything using WWE 13 anything that isn't recordable pretty much using G Visual Boy Advance or anything that I can get working on my um, low-grade laptop uh, is pretty much on standby uh, but what I am going to... I mean, Final Fantasy X's down as well. So, pretty much, guys, what I'm going to do is, at this point, at the time of recording this, I've got a fair chunk of some of the series recorded. So, I'm just going to flex, stretch them out as long as I can. Hopefully, that there's not too much downtime for you lot. Um, and... I'm just going to see what we have to do. Um, but long, long term, you're going to be getting a lot more Pokemon gameplays. Uh, just basically because I know I, I know I can shoot those and um, I know I can shoot those uh, with my assist system and now I've got my new headset um, now I've got my new headset I can do that sort of thing uh, do you know the evolution cancel technique when a Pokemon is evolving you can stop the process well I'm gonna be doing that for Bulbasaur Brock is my inspiration he's tough wouldn't it be funny if Brock was a ladies man who wanted to be a breeder <laughs> I can't imagine that. I can. Watch the Pokemon anime and you'll see. Fuck me, there's a fat Pikachu here. Cool, a Pikachu. We've got you now, pest. This this is the last time you'll eat my produce. Oh, the Pikachu's killed a load of men. <laughs> I can't watch it anymore, this. It ran into Pewter City. I know what you're thinking, we aren't related. That Pikachu's been causing havoc in Pewter City for five weeks. That Pikachu's been causing havoc. So you two have got the same script. Okay, um... So let's go into Pewter City then, shall we? So here we are in Pewter City and there's the Pikachu. Let's go after it. So if we, we've we got to basically run after this thing, I, I assume. So we'll do that for a bit. Ha! Got you! And now we're battling the Pikachu. So let's capture it. Because we we know we I know we want this, so let's capture this this fella. I'm gonna be damn careful by you. I'm, whoa! Shit! It's level 13 and it's got Volt Tackle. Christ on a bike! It, it knocked out Poliwhirl. Okay, go Bulbasaur. You're not gonna touch the bloody thing though. I'm just gonna start lobbing Pokeballs. I've got 16 of the bloody things, so. Come on. Yes, come on. Yeah! Woohoo! Yeah, baby! We got the Pikachu. I'm sorry for making you all deaf. But this mic mic's pretty good, I think. Um, really does cancel out the outside uh, environment, so. So we've got a Pikachu. Uh, I'm not going to give it a nickname. So now we've got a Pikachu. So we've got a. Oh, it's got an item as well. Let's have a look see what it is. It comes with... How do I see this item? Um... Okay, so is it... How do, I... How do I do that? Uh... Light ball! Good, it's keeping that light ball. So that's... That, that, that explains why it's got extensive electrical powers and why Volt Tackle was so powerful. Right, well, let's find the Pokemon Center before we cause any more fucking mayhem and um, heal up our Poliwhirl. Uh, we're going to put Pikachu at the front of our party. I know, yes, we're near a rock gym, but uh, purpose being, Pikachu needs experience, so here's the Poké Center. 
So let's heal up in here and talk to everybody in the Poke Center. I assume we've got to go to Brock's gym, right? This place should be full of pink Pokemon with floral pattern on it. My friend gave me an Onyx for my birthday. Can you believe that? I hate rock Pokemon. I just got back from Mount Moon. Great. All of you, all of you had um, a deep Im impact on this story. And um, I am so happy for having known all of you. Uh, anyway, you, fat person. Um, there aren't many serious Pokemon trainers here. You wouldn't believe that, would you? Considering there aren't many serious Pokemon. There aren't many serious Pokemon trainers here. In a town with a gym. Yeah. That makes that makes all the sense on earth. That does. All of it. Every bit of sense that makes. Well, there's the gym and the security guard outside dressed like a camper. But I see I see our rival. So let's go to him. Yo! Yo! You! You're slow. You'll never get the Pokedex filled playing around like that. I'm embarrassed for having you as a rival in this quest. What was that? You want to fight? Come to think of it, we never finished the battle back in Viridian Forest. But first, my impetuous friend, allow me to introduce you... Allow me to let you in Let you into something. This town's gym leader is looking for someone competent to fight. Fight him. I intend to do so and win the Boulder Badge. The Boulder Badge? Don't you know? The Boulder Badge can boost the attack power of your Pokemon. Every trainer knows that. Well, sorry. So this is my challenge. Let's see which of us can win the Boulder Badge first. Of course, it shouldn't be much of a match. I'll take that challenge, and you will regret that. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, and one more thing. Brock is a rock Pokemon trainer. Your Poliwhirl and Bulbasaur should have an advantage. So I challenge the gate... Let's challenge this gate blocker, who um, is going to stop us from facing the almighty Brock. And he's called Stoner. So um, I, I genuinely get the impression that... Um, he spends all day um, lighting up blunts because he's called Stoner. Um, so let's go Bulbasaur. Yeah. I went there. And let's use Vine Whip. And that Geo dude was. Um, yeah. That was a gatekeeper, alright. Sometimes being a, being, a, being a gate guardian is lonely. Yeah, I know. I expect it is. I expect it is being made up of three parts that are all owned by the Paradox Brothers. It does suck mega balls. You got past Gate Guardian Stoner? Well, you'll need to get past me. The final Gate Guardian. Great, so that's um that's an extensive security system you've got there, Brock. A grand total of two security guards. Go Polywill. Uh Vine Whip on Geodude number one. And Poliwhirl can hit the other Geodude with a water gun and we, we can all go home. Water gun, Vine Whip. Couldn't care less which one of you hits it. It's going to die anyway. Pikachu's got to level 8 and learn Thunder Wave. Bulbasaur's up to level 13. We defeated Camper Rocky. So we defeated the second Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Red Ranger. Brock is strong, remember that. Okay, you. To face Brock, you must win the preliminaries against several trainers. So are you ready? Hells yeah, son. Wayne! Okay, get ready. So, I figure we've got to beat all of them. So let's first face this old man. Um, old man... Fucking hell, it's so it's Saruman! Seriously! He looked like a ridiculously bald old man. And then you go into the... He's like, he's like a ninja master. What am I doing fighting Gandalf? Well, he's got a pupitar anyway. So Pikachu's going to be a whole lot of well done. Uh, so let's go for Poliwhirl. This will be enough to get the, get the levels up and possibly to fix the problem we've got with Pikachu lacking in experience. Okay, so next is you, who just says, 
Camper Liam. So in my in my in my imagination, this is you exile. Yeah, spoiler. <laughs> Plus, I kind of think he'd fit in in the first gym. Well, I'm for I like I like those guys. I'm not I'm I'm not I am not insulting. I'm not insulting him like that. I like them. They're good. They entertain me. You're so close, little boy. But you are not going to get past me. We'll see. So here's um, Karate Guy Pedophile, or Black Belt Stan, as um, he'd like to be known. Now he's going to send in a Sand True. Again, Pikachu's going to be a whole lot of useful in this battle. So we'll use Bulbasaur, of course, because Bulbasaur could do with the experience of Vine Whipping a Sand True and turning it into paper. And I'll let Bulbasaur do the rest of the battle on his own. Because he can vine whip a Cubone to death. Talking about death and Cubone, Cubone in the same sentence is probably a little bit cruel, given that Cubone is the Pokemon. Cubone is basically the abandoned child because of the dead mother Pokemon. Cubone is, practi is practically the kid. Um, the f is practically the kid from Heavy Rain. Congrats. Everybody just jumped up in the air. I want to fight all of these guys off off the side, though. Congrats. Congrats. Hey, look, let's let's make everybody have a fit. Congrats. Now let's go in. Whoa, sandstorm, and a and a half naked man. So let's meet Brock. I am Brock. I was observing your battle during the preliminaries. You are a worthy opponent. So Brock is in a pair of Brock is shirtless, wearing a pair of tra wearing a pair of cargo pants, and built like a brick shit house. And he sent out multiple Geo dudes. That's kind of cool. That's three Geo dudes, isn't it? So does it work? Let's try it. No, Volt Tackle doesn't work on Geo dude. Magnitude 7 is going to send Pikachu somewhere near hell. Probably to the Eye of Sauron or something. But he's got multiple Geodudes here, so I don't know what happens when I hit it with a... Well, it's going to hit me with Double Edge and Bulbasaur's going to die, but can Poliwhirl hold its own? I don't know. Oh, Water Gun near, near enough killed the thing. But mag oh, Magnitude 4, we should be okay because Magnitude 4 is quite low. If that was magnitude 7 or above, Poliwhirl would be down, I expect. So Brock's obviously got super potions. Uh, let's continue with Water Gun, because there's no, no sense to use Bubble, because Water Gun's stronger. And we took out the Geodudes. Three Geodudes in a ring. That's kind of cool. And Poliwhirl nearly got two level ups. And now he's in with an Onyx at level 20. Fuck. Okay, now. Well, we won it. KO'd the Onyx anyway. Level 20 or not, you're still an Onyx. I took you for granted, and so I lost. As proof of your victory, I concur you the official Pokemon League Boulder Badge. We can use Flash. And we got two grand from him. Wait, take this. TM39 contains Rock Tomb. Well, we haven't got any Rock Pokemon. Good luck in your journey. So we've got the Boulder Badge. Now what? Because part of me gets the impression I wasn't supposed to beat Brock first time. But how can I not beat him? I've got a Poliwhirl, you know. How can I not beat the beat the imbecile? I've got a bloody Poliwhirl. Well, I figure we've got to go to Mount Moon, right? But I think I'll, um, I'll take a detour and we'll go to the Pewter Museum of Science and see if there's anything interesting to do there. So it's free to enter the Pewter, Pewter Museum of Science. Um, looks like it's much the same as in... Oh, we are. There's a little girl. I want a Kabuto, but my dad says they're extinct. What? 
Haha, <laughs> no, you little, you little. Dear, Kabuto was extinct years, ages ago. I can't just catch one for you. You kind of can, but this is the space exhibit. Ex enjoy. July 20th, 1969. Human humankind first set foot on the moon that day. I bought a colour TV just so I could watch that news. I don't think colour TVs were out then, were they? These things are pretty cool. I'm going to make my own team and call it Team Galactic. Wait, that doesn't sound right. So there's the original leader of Team Galactic right there. So there seems to be absolute, ab ab absolutely, um, uh, bot absolutely sod all I can do here. Can I get to the back door? Yes, I can. So we can get to the old amber. I have a jinx. I was teaching how to use sweet kiss. Want me to want me to show you? Ah! A scientist just kissed me. I hardly see any adult guys around my age. Most of them died at war. We got this claw fossil from Hoenn. However, the owner of the museum is still deciding whether to place it on display. He feared that people would move to the Hoenn region instead of coming here. But it's been four years. I don't think he'll ever put it on display. So here, take it. So we've got we've got a fossil. Now, obviously, we can't revive that, I assume, till Cinnabar Island. Uh, so I figured let's just go to Mount Moon. Or at least on the way. We're not going to make it there in this episode. I found an iron. That's cool. I'm not going to use it yet though, because I'm not sure who, who I'm not sure who's uh, who is best to use that. You shouldn't be st you shouldn't be staring if you don't want a battle. Did I have a choice? So last Janice is battling us. She's coming out with a Pidgey, so Pikachu can wipe the floor with that with Thundershock. I'm I'm apprehensive about using Volt Tackle um, because it does take a chunk of my health off. So. I'll just stick with Thundershock and then get Thunderbolt as soon as I can, like. Might as well let Pikachu fight these battles. He's strong enough. I saw you beat Brock. Don't let that, don't let that get into your head. So this is Bug Boy Colton. Who's sending out a Caterpie. So let's growl at the Caterpie because I forgot to move my moves there around. And then use Thundershock. Yes, yeah. Keep keep going with Thundershock. I'm just watching some uh, scrap men steal something from outside one of the houses nearby. Oh my god, they're actually nicking from next door skip. Those dirty those dirty rotten scumbags. Oh well. Pikachu learn quick attack. Seriously, stop stealing off people's drives, you dirty scumbags. Whatever. Um, apologies for that going in the episode, guys, but there are some absolutely um, liberal lawmen like uh, scrap men around here who literally will steal shit off your drive if you if you put it there. Whether or not you wanted them to take it, you can be packing your bag to go on fucking holiday and they'll be off for your suitcase if it's made of metal. So, um, yeah. Who cares if I'm right or wrong? That's in the episode now. And <laughs> um, yeah, uh, that's an opinion I've had many a time. These, the, those same scrap men are always up and down my street playing their um, any scrap metal in, in some sort of Eastern European language. But you know, guys, um, I figure you guys get to see get to see a little insight into the recording environment I'm in. That really pisses me off, those dirty scoundrels. I, I hope that stuff that my neighbour put out was actually for them and they didn't just pinch it. But whatever. Not like I can stop them. He was he, he was massive wearing a wearing a, wearing a pair of um, wearing a pair of jeans and was smoking the whole time. He start he, he did that pick up so. I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm not gonna bother me. It's probably something to do with the um, Lithuanian mafia or something. Anywho, back to Pokemon. Cause that's what we're all here for, right? You girl. 
Yes, I touched you. Sexually. Repeatedly. No, she, she, she's sending out a Jigglypuff. Let's go with Volt Tackle. Wipe that little shit out before it causes me any problems. So Pikachu is actually catching up in levels to the other Pokemon in the team now, which is exactly the idea I wanted to happen. That's exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted Pikachu to catch up in levels, so... He's still got a, ways to, a little ways to go, though, but then Bulbasaur needs some work, so... You, boy. I didn't know you could do the tunnel from Cerulean. Run Route 4, what was that? Oh, pretty big, huh? Let me help. Stay back, kid. This is dangerous. I'm not just any trainer. Be careful, it's coming. Am I supposed to catch this thing? I don't know. I'm going to try. Thundershot, Pikachu. If you go down, Pikachu, I'm very sorry. Go, Bulbasaur. I'm going to catch it now. It's confused. I've got to be careful here. Oh, close, man. Oh, well, the Gyarados killed itself. Bulbasaur got the level experience it needed, and it's learning Poison Powder. Um... Tackle can go for now, but if it gets um, one of the other powders, I might get rid of poison powder altogether. Yeah, it wants to learn sleep powder, so poison powder's going. I'd rather have sleep powder. My name is Axe. I never expected to see a Pokemon that huge, especially in this area. Was it wild or... Gyarados is a water Pokemon. It shouldn't have been able to be found here. That's what I thought, so why? That Gyarados wasn't wild. It belongs to me. What? I was raising it up until last week. Which is when somebody stole it. When we came back, it wasn't nice anymore. It was enraged like you just saw. I followed its path of destruction leading me to it. Well, now everything's okay thanks to you. No. It's never okay when a Pokemon goes berserk. The people who stole your Gyarados must have done it. I'm going to kick their ass. Where are you going? I'm going to... Those thieves, where are they? Don't you think I'd be there if I knew? <clears throat> Maybe the professor knows something. You can call him with the telephone in the Pokemon Center. I'll wait for you there. Well, I'm going to heal first. And talk to everybody else here. That's right, it's me. <laughs> Ash's mum's here. Ash's mum's in this Pokemon Center. Want to hear a fun fact? Mount Moon is regarded regard as a dark cave. However, it's actually brighter than most caves in Kanto. Intriguing. I love chilling with Delia Ketchum. So it looks like Ash's mum's going to be a side character for us to um, endure. The telephone is just there. Ring, 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 ring. Ring, 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 ring. Axe, it's been a while. That's Professor Oak. He's the world's most leading expert on Pokemon. Wow. Any closer to completing your Pokedex, Ash? Axe, sorry. Uh, Freudian slip there. I sure am. I already got new data this morning. By the way, Professor Oak, I needed to ask you something. You needed to ask? Hmm. So the Pokemon refuses to listen to the trainer after only a few days. Sounds to me like Team Rocket. Team Rocket? Yes, they're a secret crime syndicate that everybody in the region knows about, so they're not exactly very secret. They use Pokemon for their own evil purposes. Recently, they've been suspected of using lab experiments on Pokemon. Pokemon uses experiments. I know, it's very upsetting, but there's something that you can do to help. On Mount Moon, just to your east, a moonstone has said to be found. What's that? What's a moonstone? 
It's a stone that is said to be able to boost the power of Pokemon immensely. Team Rocket is most likely searching for it. Hmm. Yesterday. Sir! We've, we're ready to depart! Hold on, I need to get rid of a dead weight. Sir! That savage beast is going to cause massive destruction! That is exactly what I am counting on. Alright, move out. Yes, I did just do an Arnold Schwarzenegger. Sue me. Um, no, please don't. I can't afford for you to sue me. Um, so... Ah! I want to pick up that bloody item! I'm stuck with Misty on one arm. It's like a fucking cancerous growth. There we go. So it's like a little fucking maze. You gotta, uh, you gotta. Ah, oh, there we go. I've got it out of sync with me now. That's brilliant. I'll catch up with me in a minute. I'm playing hide and seek with my friends. I've been waiting for hours. Let's use Volt Tackle on this Cliff Fairy. But what I'm going to do, guys, I'm closing the episode off here. We've gone 26 minutes. I'll be back next time for more Pokemon Adventure Red. See you guys next time. Farewell.